It amazes me when people find these worm finds. They're rotted, they're rusty, but yet they turn them into these beautiful works of art. On this episode of Loving the Real World, we do an online car show. And don't forget to click and subscribe and hit that like button. It really helps our channel out. Plus, leave comments and we'll try to respond to all. This is a 1954 Buick Skylark. It was created to mark Buick's 50th anniversary. 1,690 units were produced and listed for a price a little over $5,000. Can you imagine driving this to the beach? Looks like somebody found this in a barn somewhere. It looks kind of rough. This is a 1930 L29 Corb two-door convertible. It was the first front-wheel drive car ever made. Yeah, you thought that was made in the 80s. No. About 5,010 were produced between 1929 and 1931. And after a bunch of work, it looks pretty sweet, too. This is a 1947 Diamond T Custom. A one-of-a-kind Woody that was hand-built, and no telling how many man-hours went into making this piece of art. Then they put a sweet 350 motor in it that produced 350 horsepower. I think it's time to load up the surfboards and head out. A guy can dream, right? Come on, let's go. The next car is a 1931 Franklin Model 153 Pirate Touring. Only 1,100 Franklins were built in 1931. This car had the most powerful, naturally aspirated inline sits of the year, and it was a 4.5 liter that produced 100 horsepower. Looks like it had plenty of room to carry groceries too, or put the top down and go for a Sunday drive. This next car I really don't know that much about. It's a 1932 Humblebill two-door sedan custom. It's one sweet ride, but just a beautiful car. If you know details about this car, leave them in the comments. This is a 1934 Nash Advanced 8 Rumble Seat Coupe. This is a neat car. You can just throw the kids in the Rumble Seat and take a drive. Plus, this car came with a true trunk. Kind of cool. This looks to be a true barn find, another 1930 L29 Corb, but this time it's a four-door. They really do a great job on cleaning this old girl up. I believe this would be a great Sunday go-to-meeting car. So go ahead and load up those kids and whole family and head out to church. This beautiful car sitting by the ocean is a 1934 Packard 1101 convertible sedan. The car came with a 392 straight 8 motor that pumped out 120 horsepower. It weighed about 4,680 pounds, and the car had a sticker price of $3,090. Yeah, this car didn't depreciate very well. It's only worth about somewhere in the excess of $200,000 today. This next car is a 1934 Rio pickup. So I guess it's not a car. Rio w was established by Olds. Olds left Oldsmobile in 1905 and started the Rio Motor Company. In 1934, they restyled the Flying Cloud, and they had 700 left over. So, Rio's solution was to cut the sedan's body vertically at the B-pillar and make trucks out of them. Pretty cool, huh? This little thing came with a 209 straight sits, and the motor was built by Rio. Speaking of motors, this is a 1963 Corvette convertible. Everybody loves the 63, but this is a restro mod. A few changes have been made, like the motor the hood, the wheels, the brakes, side pipes, the interior, the rear end. Oh, yeah, mostly everything, but it's still a sweet little car. The next car is a 1949 chopped and shaved and lowered Caddy. This is one of those cars that's right on the edge and maybe taking it a little bit too far, but it still has some very sexy lines. I've always loved these 1969 Camaros, and this is a beautiful example of one. A 1969 RSSS. Even in orange and white, this is a good looking car. And I would be more than glad to take it home. I didn't even know these existed. This is a 1968 M250 Ranger 4x4. Mercury produced the M series from 1946 to 1968, and it was sold primarily in Canada as a rebadged version of the Ford F series. I think it would feel right at home here in the North Georgia mountains. What do you think? This next car is really a sweet car. A 1937 Corb. Yeah, I like Corbs. This is the third one. This is an 
812 supercharged Phantom. A car this condition would be worth well over $200,000. The supercharged 812 could be spotted a mile away by the chrome-plated external exhaust pipes mounted on each side of the hood and grill. This car produced 170 horsepower. If anyone would like to donate one to a good home, I will be glad to take care of it. Really don't know that much about this one, but it is a cool looking car and camper combination. Matching paint styles and all. So if you know a little bit about this, leave some comments down below. I'm thinking it might be a 1950s Hudson Custom Commodore two-door. Uh, give me your thoughts. This is a 2005 Ford Thunderbird built on April the 20th, 2005. It came with a 3.9 double overhead cam PFI V8 gas motor that produced somewhere around 280 horsepower and 286 pounds of torque. We plan on doing a in-depth video on this car and make some minor repairs. So if you'd like to see that, leave some comments below. When somebody says 302, what do you think? Mustang. Well, here's a true 302. A 1969 Z28 RS Camaro convertible. Came with a 302. It did the Trans Am racing, and it was a special little car. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up right there. And if you got anything out of this uh, video, please like, share, leave comments, and subscribe to the channel. And if you're wondering where we're going to be staying in the next five years, yeah, it's probably right here beside the road in this. Anyway, y'all have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.